Greetings. This is Mushtaq Memon, Professor Emeritus from Washington State University. We are going to talk about canine reproduction today. And today's video is dedicated to pregnancy diagnosis. First of all, I would like to mention that uh, normal duration of the pregnancy in the dog is about 62 days. So you can have a plus minus two, three days here. But to really understand how duration of the pregnancy is calculated, what are the different aspects of uh, fertilization and the reproductive cycle works in the dog, I would highly recommend that you are to watch my video recorded earlier under the uh, title of uh, Responsible Breeding. So here for our discussion, uh, we would say that, okay, the pregnancy is about 62 days in the dog. And one of the technique, uh, which is relatively simple, uh, not commonly utilized in our professional circle, but it's there, is called abdominal palpation. When we try to feel the abdomen of the, uh, you know, suspected pregnant dog, and you try to push those contents a little bit up higher, so that you can feel these marble feeling structures, which you see the picture on your right hand side. These are what you call amniotic vesicles. So these appear in the dog's uterus, you know, they are palpable somewhere between 20 to 30 days after breeding. Before 20 days, it's very difficult to feel them because they're not well formed. And after 30 days, there's so much fluid in the uterus that you may not be able to identify them clearly. Requires some practice. I have done on some dogs, but really, to be honest with you, it has been many years ago. So I have started relying more upon much better uh, and reliable techniques. Now, on abdominal palpation, obviously, you can identify or feel those amniotic vesicles, but you really cannot tell the health of the puppies. Are they live or not? So to get to that, uh, you know, competence, then we go right away to ultrasonography and ultrasound of the pregnant bitch. So here we have uh, a picture showing that requires some equipment. Ultrasound machines have become uh, less expensive and much better than what I'm showing in this picture at the bottom. So it uh, depends how you feel comfortable. Uh, I usually try to put dogs on the table if possible and then try to be comfortable and try to, you know, do the ultrasound and figure it out, uh, you know, how many puppies are there. But I think the ultimate of ultrasonography for pregnancy diagnosis is to find the beating heart. So when you see the puppy's uh, heart is beating, you know that not only that uh, she is pregnant, but also the puppies are in good health because you can see the uh, beating heart. So this is still image you see on the top doesn't do the justice. So, but even if you look at that uh, ultrasound uh, still picture, you can see on the right hand side the round kind of structure is the head of the puppy, and on the bottom on the left hand side, which you see kind of round. Uh, elliptical area is the abdomen. On ultrasonography, when you look at the fluid, it looks dark, the what we call an echoic image. And then once you see the uh, some uh, organs, which are kind of soft, that will be uh, semi-echoic, uh, a hypo-echoic image. And then once you try to ultrasound, when you're trying to hit the bones, like the ribs and the stuff, then they really shine up what you call hyper echoic image. So it is uh, relatively you know, easy to do. Uh, and I think uh, I just uh, have a rule that, OK, you bring the dog after about 25 days after breeding, so we can do ultrasound. In some animals, I could do very early. But again, depends upon the breeding schedule and whether it's uh, natural breeding or artificial insemination. So quite a few factors. Uh, get involved in it. The third technique, which uh, we use very commonly, and most of our private practices have them, is the radiography or x-ray. 
But this technique uh, picks up the ossification of the bones, means that we should be able to see the bony formation of the fetus, which really doesn't happen until about 40, 42 days. So you can see on this uh, picture here, this is why I mentioned, let us wait until about 42 days before we do that. So that brings us to the <clears throat> very interesting case of Jezebel. Jezebel, as you can see in this picture, she's a Pomeranian breed. Is about four years old. Now she has had some, um, you know, tragic situation in previous pregnancy. That she was, according to the owner, she was pregnant uh, with four puppies, but her delivery took too long. All those puppies died. So this time, the client, the owner, made sure that you know she had enough breeding. So this uh, Pomeranian Jezebel was bred six times which probably is not necessary, but this is what we have. So according to uh, the breeding, uh, we thought, you know, this uh, animal is somewhere between 44 to 53 days pregnant. So as I mentioned earlier, I think for this technique, uh, or this, this kind of a stage of pregnancy, radiography should uh, do a good job. So we went ahead and did uh, the uh, x-ray or radiograph and come to find out that uh, uh, she has uh, abdominal distension. All the gut contents are pushed up. If you look at closely at this picture, you will see there's quite a bit gray area at the bottom, but on the top is the abdominal contents uh, shown there in kind of uh, hypoechoic, uh, you know, color. At the bottom, you could see uh, nipples are fairly prominent. So if you get, look at this uh, picture, when you look at it, then you wonder what's going on there. And Claude is saying that she has been bred so many times. So if you don't have the, obviously, you know, the finding of the fetuses, then what is there? Why the abdomen is distended? So we go through this exercise, at least with our veterinary students, to see what else could be, what we call differential diagnosis. So there's a potentially it could be still pregnancy, but maybe we have mixed up with the dates and the stuff. But it could be pyometra, or it could be you know peritonitis, ascites, and things like that. So without spending too much time on this uh, uh, different conditions, uh, we went ahead and said, you know, <clears throat> let's do the ultrasound anyway because uh, there may be again uh, mixed up with the dates and the stuff. Come to find out that yes, she had somewhere from two to three embryos there, and looks like the pregnancy was somewhere from 35 to 40 days. We have done some research in this, uh, uh, you know, relationship of the breeding versus the duration of pregnancy, what you can see, uh, see there, and I can tell you that it varies quite a bit. So, then we told the client, you know, let us, uh, bring her after about a week or 10 days. So she comes back about 54 days of her pregnancy. And sure, we took a radiograph and then we found four fetuses. By the way, radiography is the best method to count the number of puppies. Ultrasound really doesn't do that good job in the count, but the, but the health of the puppies is well done with the ultrasound. So with that, I'm going to stop, and uh, please, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to send me on the YouTube channel, and I'll be more than happy to respond. Thank you for uh, your attention. Bye-bye.